What's good, neighborhood? It's your favorite neighbor, your man, Mark Nash. He is I. I am he. Another great episode of Breaking Beats. How y'all feel? What's the deal? All right. So if you like me, man, you follow a lot of uh, different type of content on YouTube. And sometimes, you know, I see some of the Manosphere type of content. I saw this one video going around about single moms and the single moms are the problem single moms are the reason why the prisons are populated it's the reason why we got so many thugs rappers basketball players and football players versus doctors lawyers physicists uh things of that nature right in the black community and once you start going down those channels sometimes you'll end up going down a rabbit hole and you'll see some good content, some things you can agree with. You're like, all right, homie made some good points there. But then over here on this side, he'll say something. You'll be like, bruh. It never heard of it. Like, what are you talking about? Who are you? I don't even think I know you anymore. Put a case on it, baby. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to this type of content, you got to be careful and you got to guard your energy. You got to know your trigger warnings and be struck and know your stressors and things like that. That's not me talking about me personally. I'm talking about you, the listener, especially black women. Like <laughs> some of these things you go, you got, you, you ladies are going to hear might be like, Damn, you know, and you'll get caught up listening to it too. Cause you feel like you need to type something to defend your point. So it, it is profitable with triggering people, whether you pro or con versus anything, whether it's boxing, sports, whatever. So I said all that to say this. Um, I'm going to play this clip that I saw going around. And it's a white guy doing a reaction to it. Uh, excuse me, doing a reaction to it. And basically, he said he's calling Cat. He's saying all the stereotypes that go towards single mothers is cat. Some people are going to say, nah, Marnash, that's facts. But I get it. I get it. And we're going to talk about that in the comment section, but we got to talk about this now. Let's play. Single mothers are literally the worst parents on the entire planet. Bro said the worst parents. What so basically saying single fathers are better. Um all right, but but he gonna do a breakdown. Statistics back that over seven bro blinking like a mug too. People saying of young men that grow up under a single mother, single mother in particular, end up in prison. So every Okay. So if you grow up under single mothers, seventy percent of you will go to prison i'm curious if 70 percent of the people who are watching this who grew up in a single mother home did they go to prison we got to do a, a stat check in the chat man like if you grew up under a single mom and you went and you've been to jail let me know in the chat if you haven't let me know <laughs> i want i want to do a fact check for this YouTube need to set that up like on the videos. I need to be able to put a survey in the video. You should be able to put a survey like right here. Boop. YouTube, figure that out. All right, let's play this. The thing that this man just said is a complete lie, which means it must be time for another round of these aren't facts. They're just things you made up to justify your feelings. Now, the often quoted statistic is that 70% of inmates come from single mother homes, which would represent about 840,000 of the 1.2 million people incarcerated, according to the Department of Justice, in 2021. Meanwhile, 70% of the estimated 19 million children raised in single mother homes would be about 13 million. And I'm not sure how Aaron's defining young men, but even if we adjust for that, it would still be an absurdly wrong number. Okay, so Aaron misspoke, but what about that 70% statistic? That has to be correct, right? After all, it's repeated everywhere. Women gotta hold themselves accountable because 70% of boys in jail are raised by single mothers. Single sisters are to blame for the high population of men in jail. 
70 percent of youth and juvenile delinquent facilities come from single mother homes 80 percent of all youths in prison are from single mother homes if you compare a single mother is 80 percent chance of going to jail 80 percent of all prison inmates came from single mothers yeah. i did the research 80 percent of black males who were in jail come from single mother homes and we are filling up these prisons with fatherless kids okay so we're not sure if it's 70 percent or if it's 80 percent if it represents all prisoners just young men or only black men but what we do know is that prisons are full of young men from single mother homes and the women folk are to blame for it. And this statistic has been copy pasted across every website for fathers rights groups and family law attorneys representing fathers. But notice that it's different. It's 70% of juveniles in state operated institutions, not prisoners. But even that claim is wrong. It comes- Ryan Gosling going in, right? <laughs> Ryan Gosling Jr. going in. But it's more. This is the part that I thought was interesting. This is where he breaks down where this comes from. It comes from this 1987 report from the Bureau of Justice Statistics. And it says across all juveniles in state operated institutions, 70% of them did not come from a two parent home, which includes single mothers, but also single fathers, homes where the child was raised by other relatives and foster homes. In fact, single parents were only 54%, and of that, 48.4 were single mother households. But it's important to remember that this is 35-year-old data about juveniles in juvenile institutions, not prisons. And they only surveyed about 10% of juveniles, so while it might be indicative, it should not be taken as a concrete fact. Now, the statistics on inmates are actually fairly easy to get, thanks again to the Bureau of Justice Statistics. And in 2002, they showed that the number of offenders from single mother homes actually dropped from 41 to 39%, and went back up in 2016 to 41.1%. Meanwhile, homes with a father represented 40.7% of all offenders. It's almost neck and neck. So while prisons may not be overflowing with offenders from single mother households, it does represent an elevated risk about two to three times. And since your lifetime incarceration risk is about 5%, what that means is instead of 70% of children raised by single mothers going to jail, actually well over 80% will avoid ever seeing a jail. Okay, but that still means that single mums offer the worst outcomes, right? Well, studies have also looked at incarceration rates for different household types. And they did again find that three times risk for single mother households. And you can see that when we adjust for social, educational, and economic disparity, that risk drops to about two times. But before single fathers start to crow about this, look what happens when dad gets a new partner. They offer some of the worst outcomes. And when we remove the economic advantage that single fathers often have, you can see that single fathers with a new partner offer the worst outcomes, beating out single mothers, single mothers with stepfathers, and even children not raised by either parent. So if we really care about childhood outcomes, we need to be teaching men not to ignore their children the minute a new woman shows up. And even if we just want to focus on improving the outcomes for single mother households, then we need to talk about what causes them, which is absentee fathers. Because absentee fathers are a huge problem. Anywhere between a fifth and a quarter of all fathers have no contact with any of their children. And this is often framed as, oh, my baby mother or my B of an ex-wife doesn't let me see the kids. But that's also not true because when we look only at men with high levels of custody, 40%, almost half of those who start out with weekly contact, virtually abandon their children within eight years, having little to no contact. And studies have looked into the risk factors for father abandonment and found that once again, top of the list is fathers who have a new partner. And if they mm. have a child with that new partner, then virtually all of them abandon their previous children. So if we really wow. care about improving childhood outcomes, then we need to stop talking about single mothers and instead talk about the disgusting attitudes and behaviors in fathers that treat their children as disposable. Wow. All right, y'all leave me a comment. Let me know what y'all think of that. Do you agree with what he's saying? Do you disagree? Because that was a lot, especially at the end when you start seeing the statistics show that most people when they get a new family they discard the old children i seen it a lot too i got a homeboy used to live in the neighborhood and when that family broke up his dad moved mom stayed in the neighborhood so he used to go away for a while and he would still come back and and i remember as we were growing up too he used to have all the cool toys they had the slip and slide the Nintendo Turbo Touch Pad, like he had all the cool stuff, right? And then little by little, you know, as we got older, like I started seeing them different. Like he was, boy was smoking squares early. Um, you know, you can see him getting in trouble in school more. Then he went away for a while, came back, just different look, different everything. Whole attitude was different. 
and he did not have a relationship with his dad anymore and it was just crazy to see how his life changed and even when i see him now him and his dad never you know squared things away before his dad passed away you know so it is what it is but it's gonna be what it's gonna be but it, it goes to tell you like how important like not only having relationships but maintaining them whether you think you was right whether you think it was wrong it's about the children at the end of the day right on both sides of the fence it's about the 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 welfare of the child and i think a lot of people lose sight of that just trying to be right just trying to have one up on somebody i saw this one story going around matter of fact i'll say that for another video it's your man martin ash breaking beats i'll see you on the next one yeah i gotta hold that one I, i'll drop that one on the next one i'll see you on the next one peace